Um, I'm Gina Delaney. I uh, work within recovery and engagement in the mental health services and um, I'm employed uh, to bring, I suppose, my lived experience, family member experience to the role of management to support services. I grew up um, in a single parent home where um, my mother had um, uh, mental health challenges. Um, she called it stress in life. Um, and how right she was. Um, she was just coping with the challenges that life threw at her and um, I suppose it was just um, the two of us for a long time and um, there was no real contact with services. Um, sometimes things were brilliant and sometimes things were not so good um, so there were times then when she would have needed more support. When I started in psychiatric nursing, my expectations were very uh, limited, I suppose, because I had no idea of what to expect and had no uh, fixed ideas of what mental health services were like or what hospital services were like back in the time. I suppose I would have worked with a lot of uh, very competent, capable practitioners who would have worked in a recovery-focused way without that word being used. But uh, I only know what it is now when I started using that language of recovery, where now the focus which is quite challenging is for staff and for me on the ground as a practitioner was to let go and give the responsibility back and support the person to take that responsibility back uh, and that can often be the most difficult challenge for a nurse. When I initially went to seek help was shortly after I came back from Holland and realised that things were not quite well in myself. Uh, it was audio hallucinations, it was kind of visual also. So yeah, I think a, a few months Age? I was 22. Um, well, I suppose I would have always felt a kind of a um, not belonging in life. So even without using the services, I would have been kind of overwhelmed, a kind of an anxious child. But I tried to push through it on my own. Um, it was really in my 20s that I decided to engage with services um, because of depression and anxiety I was experiencing. Um, but then it kind of progressed over my 20s to the point where I had a psychotic episode and then I really had to take my mental health seriously. Recovery is, is a strange thing because um, you forget about it uh, and the patient may forget about it. Uh, and it's only when something else occurs uh, that pushes them back, you realise, ah, oh, this person has had uh, a patch of ill health in the past and it has triggered the present. So it's always there, uh, but that doesn't mean it's active. For me, um, as a family member, I suppose that the, um, the idea of recovery um, has changed dramatically, you know, in my thinking. Um, so I suppose early on when I would have heard of the word recovery, um, I didn't understand the word, you know, I really felt that, um, you know, that when we were talking about recovery that um, surely that's when people have no symptoms anymore and they're discharged from services, you know, um, and, you know, that, should, that won't happen for my mother because she has a severe diagnosis. So, you know, does that mean then that recovery doesn't apply to us? But um, I know then, you know, I suppose from from learning more myself, from further education myself, um, I know that I suppose really recovery just means whatever is, you know, whatever you want for yourself, whatever makes you happy, whatever um, helps you to um, achieve what you want to achieve in life. I guess the turning point for me was when I realised that when I accepted that no health professional had the magic pill for me and that had been something I had suspected all my life. I had this really horrible relationship with medication but I realised there was no magic pill that I had to try something different and for me that was being introduced to the recovery movement. What's important I think is that people recover. People become, get out of that feeling of being stuck along many different pathways. There isn't a singular pathway that's right for everybody. What will work for me might not work for you. So medication might be important for me, but it might, might drive you bonkers. Psychotherapy might be very helpful for you, but I mightn't be able to stand it. Talking about myself might be the last thing I want to do. So the job of a mental health service is actually to try and provide as many different openings to different pathways 
so that we have a, a range of things on our menu. And, and we won't be able to get it right for everybody, but the more things in terms of creative solutions to people's problems that we can actually put on the table in front of people in a time, in a, in a time of crisis, that's the, to me, that's the success of it. If a team can do that, then they're, they're working really well. If they're only giving people, you know, drugs and a little bit of CBT, that's not enough uh, because mental health is much bigger than that. And the solutions that, that will help people are, have to be m much more imaginative than just that narrow menu of, of options. Recovery has to happen with the person. They can be guided, they can be given the tools, as people in the HD like to say, they can be signposted, but the recovery starts from the person. It can be, the trigger would be that they might feel as though that, say, I want to find out this recovery, this new initiative, everybody's going up with recovery. Go in, observe, and just realise it's possible. I would say it's the human to human relationship between people and between if it is if they're attending a service between a clinician or a healthcare professional and the person that's using the service and that connection and that uh, relationship is formed based on trust, dignity, being heard, being listened to and their person's views and supported to develop their recovery plans for their own journeys. That is the for me would be the key to supporting somebody on their recovery journey. Um, it started when I did a RAP course in my local day hospital. So I went along to that and I met a lady who has been an amazing source of peer support ever since. Um, and she brought me to an involvement centre, which was a peer-led centre for people who have lived experience of mental health difficulties. And I just found a feeling of belonging that I hadn't had before. And hearing other people's experiences of recovery gave me hope where I had been hopeless before. Um, so that was, that was really the light bulb moment for me is when I realised recovery is possible and it's possible for me. I think on the, what's on the horizon that I look forward to in changing would be I do still see there's a huge cultural change happening within the organisation still which is very exciting because even if when I first took up working in this recovery role I would have seen a lot of uh, I suppose restrictive practices maybe and uh, uh, organisations maybe not uh, so positive about changing the culture of their organisations and I suppose because of the National Framework for Recovery Strategy that was launched in November 2017. It's a blueprint to support services to look at their uh, clinicians, to look at their practice, and for organisations to look at how they structure themselves to support recovery. There's proof of recovery everywhere you look. Um, unfortunately, I think people who work in mental health, they see people at their worst, they never see people at their best and they forget that once people leave those doors they go on to live meaningful lives. Just because they don't see them again doesn't mean their lives are going to be miserable and um, pessimistic. When you talk to a person in a level of, not their intelligence, but yeah, kind of on a level that they're, you both understand, recovery is possible because you get an encouragement, you ask questions, you're told. What I'm trying to say is that it's, 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 it's not unreachable anymore. We're not forgotten about. What's most important is to work with the person on regaining a sense of hope, a sense that there's possibilities in the future to live differently to how I am at the moment. And that can take time. Uh, it, it can be hard to, to, to get going again, but that to me is the most important thing. I would say after 40 years in general practice that uh, the care for uh, mental illness, mental health uh, is better than it's ever been and it's better than many people think. The word I, I think of is imagination, uh, creativity, opening up things rather than a narrow menu of options. I look forward to all the normal, ordinary things, and people forget how ordinary recovery is. I look forward to maybe meeting somebody, falling in love, um, going on holidays, buying a house, buying a new car. I look forward to all those little things like, um, yeah, 
It's just a, a recovery for me is like a re-enchantment with life that I feel like the future is bright, that life is worthwhile, that things are positive. Um, so I look forward to more of that.